Hey, what's up YouTube? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to completely remove the Electra jailbreak with a third-party tool called D-Electra. So once this process is completed, you will have the Electra jailbreak entirely removed off your device, as well as Cydia and all its dependencies. So now before you begin this, you must manually remove all your tweaks, and a quick and easy way to do that is using Coolstar's semi-restore tool, which I just demoed in my last video. All right, so on with this video. So once all of your tweaks are removed, let's go ahead and get the files we need to do this process. Now you will first off need a computer as we will be SSHing into our device. There really is no way to do this on device without installing a package from Cydia. And that's the whole point of this is to not have any packages installed. Thus to do this, I'm going to use Cyberduck on my Mac, but there are Windows applications available such as WinSCP and Putty. And the links to these applications will be in the description of this video. So once you're on your computer, we're going to open up a connection to our phone. Here are some of the SSH client settings. Now you'll need to select an STFP connection, use port 22, enter your device's IP address, and this can be found within the settings app under Wi-Fi, and then by clicking on your Wi-Fi network. And then lastly, the default username is root, and the default password is Alpine, both entirely in lowercase. So once we've established a connection, we're just going to want to navigate to the root of the file system. All right, so now that we have our connection set up, head to this site down in the description and download the Delectra on jailbreak script. So I went ahead and just downloaded it to my desktop. When I open it up, it's a zip file, so I went ahead and unzipped it. Heading into that folder, the only thing we care about here is the unjailbreak.sh script. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Cyberduck once more. Here, we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal command, but before we do that, all we're going to do with the unjailbreak script is just drag it right into the root of our file system. So now that that file is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a terminal window, and really that's all we need to care about now, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this up a little bit bigger so everyone can see and minimize Cyberduck. Here we're just going to enter our password, which is Alpine in lower caps if you have yet to change it. And then we're going to type in bash, add a space, and then type unjailbreak.sh. And here, let me pull it up on screen just in a little bigger font so you guys can see. Once that is typed in, all you have to do is click enter. Now we are just going to follow the on-screen steps. It looks like the person who created this unjailbreak script is warning us that this could jeopardize our jailbreak if we made major modifications to the file system aside from simply jailbreaking with the Electra jailbreak. But if that's all you did, you should be fine to proceed. Just click enter once more and the script will run. Now, unlike the semi-restore light script, instead of just doing a quick respring, your phone is actually going to entirely reboot. But once it is back online, you will notice once you enter the home screen that the Cydia application is missing. And if that is the case for you, you can rest easy knowing that this process has completed successfully. Now, this Delector script will remove everything that the Electra jailbreak added to your device, including Cydia, as we just saw a few seconds ago. Now it will remove everything aside from the APFS snapshot created when first jailbreaking. And this file is kept on our devices to ensure when the final release of semi-restore comes out that it will function properly. Anyway, now you can start fresh and re-jailbreak and or wait for Sorek to update his jailbreak for iOS 11 and then install that once it's out. In any case, that is how you entirely remove the Electra jailbreak off your device. And when slash if you decide to re-jailbreak, you will notice that the Electra jailbreak will go through installing Cydia once more, but there won't be a prompt notifying you of an APFS snapshot being created this time around. Furthermore, when you go to open Cydia for the first time after re-jailbreaking, you will have to manually update it once more. Now, with all this being said, I will note that this script, as well as the semi-restore script, it doesn't remove any previously installed sources that you have added. It also does not remove any manual modifications that were made to the file system. And an example being, I manually installed some tweaks that were not on Cydia, or at the time of installing were not available, thus those specific tweaks still remained on my device. Now I decided to finally make a video on this topic because as of last weekend, I'm really not sure what I installed, but even after removing all of my tweaks, my device still was freezing randomly throughout the day, forcing me to restart. It often crashed into safe mode, and every night for the last week or so, I'd go to bed with my device jailbroken, and when I woke up, it would be in its non-jailbroken state meaning the device at some point during the night completely restarted on its own. Thus, if you are having any of these issues, completely removing the Electra jailbreak and starting from scratch should fix these issues. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thanks again for watching. Again, stay tuned as Coolstar's semi-restore tool should be updated very soon to revert the file system back to stock using the clean APFS snapshot that we created when we first jailbroke. 
Now I will be doing a follow up video once this tool is finalized, so don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please hit that thumbs up button before you go. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.